Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to inherit an existing action in Odoo version 12. So currently in the database, I have installed different modules like sales, point of sale, purchase, inventory, manufacturing, accounting, etc. So you can see if I go to the sales, sorry, I have clicked the website. So if I go to the sales, then to the orders, and if I choose the orders menu here, on clicking the menu, you know, you know, there will be a linked action. So what I need is that I have to inherit that action of that menu. So to get that action, so if I click on orders and if I click on here, the debugger button as I have already activated the debug mode. So if you haven't activated the debug mode, you can just activate the debug mode. And if I click on edit action, I will get an action of the corresponding menu. So you can see the external ID is sale dot action orders. So I will just copy this ID. And if I search for that corresponding action inside the PyCharm, so I will just find it path ID equal to, I will paste it. So once I give like this, ID equal to, invert comma, and then I have placed the copied ID. So you can see this is the corresponding action of the menu called orders. So let's see, take a case where you need to change some values. Like if you need to change this name, what will you do? Suppose on clicking the menu, where is, if I close this, on clicking, these orders you are getting sale orders here so this is coming from this name that is name of the action so let's say take is a let's take a case where you need to change this thing so in that case what you have to do is that you can just copy this line so to inherit this action you can just copy this line like code id equal to this and i will paste it in my custom module that is oil hospital so i'll go to my custom folder and here you have got your module custom module that is OM hospital or Odoo development tutorials which is available in github or Odoo app store so if i go to the views we have already got a file for sale.order.xml so regarding the file i will come to you so i will just copy this line and i will paste it here inside our custom module so i'll just control v i have pasted it there and i'll just copy close this record so what I have done is, I have just copied the first line as it is and just close that record in our module. So you have copied that record and you have to replace this ID with, you know, this is the original file where the action is existing and the folder name that is module name is sale. So you have to replace this ID with module name dot given ID. So I will go to my custom file and i will replace the id as sale dot so you know the external id of that menu is if i click on edit action i will get it you can see module name dot id so i just copy this you can just copy from here or you can just manually write that is module name dot original id so upon doing this we will be replacing the existing record using xml code and if as i need to change the name only I'll just copy this line so i need to need to change only this line that is i need to change the name sale orders to some other i'll paste that line and you can edit directly here sale orders instead of sale orders you need uh, something like uh, i'll just i'll just change it as appointment so that's it so what i have done is i have copied that first line that is record id and replace the id with sale dot module name dot original id and as i have to change only the name i have changed the name to appointment so as you have as you need sale module to install in the database upon doing this you have to give depends sale as depends so we have already got sale in the depends so let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll just restart the service from here so there is no need to restart the service as we have already made changes inside the xml so I'll go to the UI and from the app store, sorry, from the apps menu, I'll just upgrade the module. So I'll go to the apps menu and from here, I'll just upgrade the module. So earlier in the development, we don't have a file called say view, say order.xml. So recently I have made this file, just kept this file and moved this code from this file, that is patient file to this file. So to place the better code. So still the module is getting upgraded so let's wait until the upgradation process is completed so if you 
check the log file you can see module om hospital creating or updates updating database table so let's wait some for some time to get the process completed so what we have done so far is that we have just replaced the original id with module name dot original id so that upon installing this this will rewrite the existing action with the this id so you can see it takes some time i'm not sure what's the issue still it's stuck there so i think some issues so i'll just kill this and i'll just restart the service once more so you can see i have restarted the service once more yeah you can see the module is getting upgraded while hospital bar security dot security dot xml and you can see right now the module is loading everything is fine so now if i go to the ui and if i load the screen i think the module has got upgraded successfully so let's go to the corresponding action that is i'll go to the sale order that is sales then yeah it's loading then orders then if i go to orders you can see here it's coming as appointment so earlier when we have checked we have got here as sale order so instead of sale order we got appointment right now that is what we have given here so for inheriting an existing action what you have to do is that you have to replace the id with module name dot original id so let's take another case if you don't want to change name and if you need to change something like search view id you can just copy this line Control c and you can paste it here and you can just change the reference to which search view you have to link you can change this reference so like this you can inherit an existing action so or something if you like to change this domain you can do it if you need to change this domain to something else you can copy it like this paste it here you can paste the domain here and if you need to change as empty domain you can just remove and install the module so this is how you can inherit an existing record existing action in order so if you have any queries on this or if you have any suggestions or feedbacks don't hesitate to contact us over the email that is automates at gmail.com or you can connect us through the social medias like facebook linkedin twitter etc and we welcome all your suggestions feedback and improve ourselves so that's all about this video thank you